brothers and sisters, this is the Healing Eucharist Daily Mass. We are happy that you can join us today and of course every day. Today is the Feast of St. Stanisius, Bishop and Martyr. Our presiders, Reverend Father Emilim SVD, concelebrated by Father Lino Nicasio, also an SVD. Let us all rise and begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, to prepare ourselves to enter into the sacred mystery of the Holy Eucharist, we are reminded of our unworthiness, and so we confess our sin. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. The Bishop St. Stanislaus fell beneath the swords of his persecutors. Grant, we pray, that we may persevere strong in faith even until death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the anhedrin, the high priest questioned them, We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors traced Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. 
taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, He rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, He saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Let us all rise for the Holy Gospel. Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speak of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God said speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated. Thank you, Father Lino, for proclaiming to us the Gospel. Good evening, brothers and sisters, and thank you for joining us in this daily healing Eucharist. We take it for granted na habang tayo ay mga katolikong Kristiyano dito sa Pilipinas, wala tayong problema. Bakit? Tayo ang dominanting relihiyon. So, kahit na ano pang iarte-arte ng mga ibang sekta diyan, ah, wala kami ang pinakamarami dito. Wala, wala tayong dapat ika, ika nga ipagtanggol. Bakit? We are the dominant religion in the Philippines. Don't take that for granted. Because there are a lot of places like in other countries when we, the Christian Catholics, are the minority and we receive the bad treatment sometimes of discrimination. Let me tell you one, one experience ng mga OFW. In Hong Kong, Hong Kong lang yun. Dalawang oras at kalahating flight lang from here. Pero sa Hong Kong, ang mga Katoliko doon is only 7% of the total population. 7%. Yung Chinese and non-Chinese Catholics na yon, minority. Eh itong mga OFW yung Pilipina, eh dahil mga Katoliko, nagsisimba yan paglinggo. At kapag nagsisimba yan, hindi lang yung kagaya ng nagpupunta ng Boracay. Dito sa Pilipinas kasi, para nagbubunta sa Boracay o kaya sa ano, kung magsuot, eh yun, naka-open lahat, naka-short, naka-sandalyas lang and everything. 
Ibahin nyo mga Pilipinong Katoliko kapag nasa ibang bansa sila. Nakasputing yan. Their best Sunday attire is worn on a Sunday when they go to church. Kaya, kasi because you take it for granted in the Philippines eh. Kaya walang mga okay lang. Pero doon, they tell Now, itong isang OFW, totoo ito ha. Kilala ni Father Lino yon si Sol. Oh, classic story namin to Si Sol, ang employer niya, non-Catholic, Buddhist, pero non-practicing. General speaking, walang relihiyon Eh kapag Sunday, pag day off, di ito na nga si Sol. No? Isusuot niya yung kanyang pinakamaganda. May pabango pa, naligo pa yan, nag-makeup pa, bago pupunta sa, sa simbahan para magsimba. Eh naiintriga itong kanyang mga employer. Lagi siyang pinapagalala, where are you going? Where are you going? Why are you all wearing that one? Siguro naiingit yung naiingit yung employer kasi mas maganda si Pinay si OFW kaysa sa kanya, mas mabago yung Pilipina kaysa sa kanya. Kaya lagi pag Sunday na lang. Eh kung tayo sa eh, hope ko naman ang pakialam mo. Eh pero lagi siyang pinapagalitan. Why are you wasting your time going there with your friends? Uh, you're going to church. What are you going to get to church? They only get money from you. Pero puro mga ganun ang mga sinasabi, lagi siyang dinidiscourage. Pero sabi ni Saul bilang katoliko, I'm sorry ma'am, but I have to go to church. That is our tradition. I'm a Catholic, I'm a Christian. That's why I have to go. No? So kahit linggo-linggo, pinapagalitan siya, iniinsulto siya ng employer niya, pero pupunta at pupunta pa rin siya sa simbahan para magsimba. Eh, mga ibang katoliko, pag mahinahin ang mga ano, ang mga pananampalataya, gigive up ka agad eh. change na lang tayo, mag-Muslim na lang tayo, di walang problema. O, yung ganun. Ba't ibahin mo ito mga OFW? So, sa ganun-ganun, lagi siyang pinapahirapan. Alam mo, pahirap sa kanya, sa, ay, you bring, you bring the little girl. Yung kanyang inaalagaan, isasama niya. E day off naman niya. E di bit-bit-bit-bit niya sa simbahan yung mag-aalaga, magsisimba siya, mag-aalaga pa siya ng bata para lang makapagmadyong ang kanyang employer. So, para mahirapan, no? Dinala niya. Linggo-linggo, dinadala niya. Eh, pagdating niya doon sa St. Benedict Parish, so, nag-misa kami ni Father Lino doon, eh, may Sunday, may Sunday catechism for kids, o may Sunday school. O, di, eh, sinama yung bata na babae doon sa Sunday school. Eh, di, nagustuhan ng bata. Bakit? May kasama siya ibang mga bata doon. Walang assignment, puro kantahan, natutuwa yung bata to the point na later on, Hindi nagpapaiwan yung bata sa bahay. Pag linggo, pag simba ni OFW, ni yaya niya, yung nani niya, sama siya. Mas excited pa siyang pumasok sa simbahan kaysa pumunta sa school. Oo. Oh. Ano yung tinigat niya? Lalong nagagalit, lalong naiinis yung employer sa kanya. Ano bang ginagawa na ito? No? Eh, ay, ganun pa rin. For a long time, it went to that one no, na hindi sinusuportahan. Laging iniinsulto itong Catholic na to. Until one time, nag-iba yung intriga ng employer. Sabi niya, bakit ba kayo punta na punta sa simbahan? No? So, one time, sumunod yung employer. Kung saan pumupunta. Baka, baka kung saan na dinadala yung kanilang bata. Bakit laging gusto nang pumunta ng simbahan? So, one Sunday, walang ginagawa yung employer, sinundan sa simbahan. Dinakita niya, nakita nila kung anong meron sa simbahan. They got intrigued. Why they look very happy? Why these Catholics are friendly to one another? Why this OFW, even if they have a lot of, they're in friends with other non-Filipino Catholics, mga doktor, mga professor, kasi dun yun, malapit sa university yun, mga matataas, but they treat each other like the same. That's the Catholic life dun sa simbahang yun, no? even though they're minority. And so, sa araw, lagi, lagi, sana, every Sunday, pumupunta na yung mag-asawa, no? Pumupunta na yung mag-asawa. Nakilala ko rin, naging kaibigan din namin ni Padre Lino. Aba, after mga ilang two years, they inquired how to become a Catholic. Hmm. And nung andun pa ako, kami pa nga ang nagbinyag doon sa employer. And only later on, the family moved to Canada. Si Sol, Nagpaiwan siya sa Hong Kong. Nagkaroon din siya ng ibang employer at napangasawa naman yung employer niya ng mga katoliko rin. 
no? <laughs> oh, so ngayon namatay na yung asawa niya, oh, siya na nagmamayari ng lahat ng investment ng asawa niyang katoliko. <laughs> no? may, may ilan na siyang flat, so hindi na siya OFW. Hindi na siya domestic helper. But what does this prove, brothers and sisters? As Catholic Christians, don't, ika nga, don't compromise on your faith. Tayo kasi minsan, ah, para wala ng arguments. O sabihin mo na lang, oh, pareho naman ang sinasamba natin. Oh, pareho namang Lord ang ginagawa natin. Kaya, wag na nating mag-argue tungkol sa ano. Kaya mo na, kung anong gusto nila, ganun na lang, sumunod na lang tayo. Ay nila tayo magsimba, ay hindi tayo magsimba. Ay nila tayo magbibis, ay di wag na tayo magbibis. Ay nila tayo nakikita magdasal, ay wag ka na magpakita ang nagdadasal. Bakit? Ikinahihiya mo pagkakatoliko mo? That's a challenge for us. Why I mention that? Listen. to the first reading. Itong mga huling araw ng uh, panahon ng Easter, ang kwento ng first reading, the Acts of the Apostles, ang gawa ng mga apostoles, at yung kanilang pamumuhay, na pagkatapos nilang masaksihan ang buling pagkabuhay ni Jesus, nako, hindi nagpapaawat yung mga yan. Yan, first reading kanina, Acts of the Apostles, ayaw magpaawat ng mga katoliko. mga tagasunod ni Kristo. Sabi nga ng mga elder sa kanila, we told you already, shut up. Don't talk about this Jesus. Sabi niya, kami ang nagmumukhang ano nga to, kontrabida dahil kami daw ang nagpapatay. Ah, ba't ito sila mga Peter, no? Peter and the Apostle, remember what Peter and the Apostle said in reply, we must obey God rather than men. Ah, is the attitude of Christian Catholics. God first. Hayaan mo kung hindi ka kung ayaw sa'yo. Hayaan mo kung hindi ka nila accept. You follow God first before man. Yun ang patotoo. Raising from the dead is true. Nakita nila mismo eh. So, kaya, sabi niya, hindi kami magsisinungaling. No, hindi kami magtatago. Hindi kami tatahimik. So, here's the lesson, brothers and sisters. The mandate of Easter, tayo, because we are Easter people, the of Christ, is to preach Christ. To testify and be a witness of Christ. That is a mandate. Kung ako pa magsasabi, order yan. Hindi yan pakiusap. Order sa lahat ng mga Kristiyano, Katoliko, You should give witness and testimony to Christ. By your life, kung hindi kayo mag-pre-preach, by your life, you should testify of the hope, the joy, the faith of Christ. Bilang mga uh, Catholic Christians, ano ba ang pinag-ano natin? What are we witnessing for? No? Well, tayo lang mga Katoliko, uh, sa mga may Pilipino, medyo may pagka-dramatic tayo. Kaya mas gusto natin yung inaapi, pinaparusahan, nagdudugo, sinahampas. Kaya gusto natin nung si Kristo ay namatay. Pero bilang Kristiyano-Katoliko, ang pangunahing pinapatutuo natin ay si Kristo ay muling nabuhay. Ay, nako, tanongin niyo si Father Lino. Tanongin niyo ang mga teologo, mga teologo. We testify every Sunday, every day of our life that Jesus is alive. Yes, nag-sacrifice si Jesus sa cross at ating inaalala yan, minimemorialize sa, sa, sa misa. Pero ang ating pamumuhay is a testimony that God is alive. Ikaw lang, kapatid, ang may relihiyon na ang nag-found sa'yo hindi nakalibing dahil hanggang ngayon, buhay. Lahat. Sino nagsimula ng kung ano-ano mga relihiyon at mga sekta? Ayun, may lapida na. Ika nga. Pero tayo, wala tayong lapida para kay Kristo. Dahil ikaw lang ang may relihiyon na ang dinodyos mo ay buhay. That's good news. And so live. Isa buhay natin, yung pag-asa na yan, yung uh, positiveness, yung kaligayahan na buhay ang iyong Diyos. So lagi ka may kasama, hindi ka nag-iisa. So amen? Amen. So, pagpatuloy natin ang pagdiriwang ng banal na misa bilang ating pagpapatutuo na ang ating Diyos ay buhay. Magsitayo tayo.
let us The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and rescues them from all their distress. In time of uncertainty and need, let us ask for strength to be trustful and to be faithful for every petition. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. that the faithful and their leaders may witness with boldness to the victory of Christ that drives away fear and doubt in people's hearts. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in public office may obey the voice of God in their conscience rather than the unlawful orders to commit injustice and violence for political and financial expediency, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That doctors, surgeons, nurses, and health specialists may be given the insight to treat people in times of epidemic and health crisis. May they be sustained in their efforts with an enduring energy and be protected from contamination and dangers to their health. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who feel a rise in stress, depression, and anxiety amidst the political, economic, and health problems of the time may be given respite for their, from their troubles, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be encouraged to pray always, both in times of abundance and good health, and in times of need and serious sickness, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all missionaries who have left home, country, and family to proclaim the gospel to all nations, may the Lord protect them from all dangers, strengthen them in their loneliness, give joy to their communities, and fulfillment in their apostolate. May the Lord reward them in this life and in the life to come, for their sacrifices and generosity for the kingdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community, our personal and special intentions, and thanksgiving of Rose Bacani and family, Rudel Manansala and family, Janet Bugayong and family, Christy Oreta and family, Po Doncillo San Miguel and family, Limon and Mata family, Pas Carballo and family, and for special birthday blessings of Catriona Audrey Po and Mirna San Miguel, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the healing of Father Lino Nicasio, Brother Greg Orihenes, Jacob Po, Jaime Doncillo, Luz Santiago, Normita Dizon, Andrew and Carl Kadai, Shelo Capili, Abby Franco, Aniseta Balolong, and Marietta Igno, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, listen to our prayers, grant them, if they are according to your will, at your own good time, and at your own design. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist.
pray, brothers and sisters, that mine and your sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon the sacred altar on the feast day of blessed Saint Stanislaus, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lab once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Anita and Cecilio, Agrippina, Limcia, Noli, Laureana, Rosario, and all those souls whom we remember and pray for in this Mass, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. command and formed by divine teachings we dare to pray Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lord, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace. peace, peace.
behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of blessed, profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
our healing prayer. Eternal Father, Lord God in heaven, we are always grateful and thankful for all the graces and blessings that you send our way. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of health. Thank you for the gift of loved ones and friends who continually care for us and praying for us. Lord, we lift up to you once again, as always, those brothers and sisters of ours, many of them or some of them are with us in this Mass, and particularly for Father Lino, for his and the others' complete healing and recovery. Lord, may you grant them the grace to progressively increase their physical, mental, and spiritual strength. Lord, may you heal all the wounds, both psychological and physical, in our bodies. Lord, above all, heal us of our sinfulness. Lord, by your wounds, make us heal. Lord, we once again trusting in you and hoping in you through the power of your resurrection that you're going to give us new life, new beginning, new chances, new opportunities and privileges. This, Lord, we claim in the powerful name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you and your loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in the love and the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.